I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to go over freeze masking using the 600s. This might be a feature that you don't know about, or you just haven't used yet. Here is a screen of what the back of my 5D Mark III would look like. I'm going to be using two CL600s today to take my images. One is going to be my main exposure, and the other one is going to be just the background. Here I've come into my camera menu system and i am set it up for two shots. So that means the first shot's going to take one image, the second shot's going to take another image. Let's go into the 600 layout that I've designed here. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your menu function and you're going to go down to units. And I'm going to set mine to two mask because I'm going to be using two lights. One is my main and one as my background light. The next section you're going to go into is you're going to go into the alt section on each one of these lights. You're going to determine which one is going to fire first and which one's going to fire second. You can see in this picture this one's set up for second, so that's going to be my background light. I'm going to come back and f with the two images in Photoshop and then I'm going to show you how to take the two images and make them into a mask. I'll be right back. All right, I've taken my two images and I brought them into Photoshop. Here you can see we have our background image, which it's just shot in the background, so it gives me a silhouette. Here on our right hand side, we have our fully exposed image. And you can see I was really close to the background because that light lit up the background and my subject. So what we're firstly going to do is we're going to go over to our left image, which is our silhouette, and I'm going to go to our adjust and I'm going to hit invert. Here you can see it didn't fully um, well, I got some white spots in here that should have been white which is super easy to fix. We'll just come in here and we'll just brush it out. In some spots you want to be translucent so you want it to be a little gray. And The reason why is that is where the light would be coming through anyway. I'm going to come up here and fix this. I'm going to change my flow. I've already taken the stand out, as you can see here. So I'm going to go up in here to Images again. And I'm going to hit it Levels. I'm going to get rid of my Midtones, make those black, as black as I can get it. And we'll just hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control A to select all. I'm going to come up here to edit. I'm going to hit copy. Now that image is done. Now we're going to go into this image. So I'm going to go into my arrangement here. And we're just going to go into this picture here, and I'm going to make a duplicate of that image. Then I'm going to put a mask on it. I'm going to select that one out. I'm going to hit the Alt and click the mask at the same time. I'm going to go up here to Edit. I'm going to hit Paste. Here we have just thrown our um, thing into our mask. And you can see we got some lighter spots over here, which is okay because we can come back in and brush that out. I'm going to hit the control D to deselect that. And I'm just going to take my black brush and just paint right over there. And if you're afraid about getting into the whites, you can just come in here to overlay and that only affects the dark spots. So we're going to come in here Go down here. Oh, that's close enough. Now we're going to go back and click our image picture. And you can see it cut it out. Cuts it out perfect. If there is a slight movement in your camera, they're not going to line up. So the key thing to do is make sure your camera is on a tripod and you want to use a remote triggering device to trigger your camera so there's no camera shake. 
again this is how fast and easy it is to do freeze masking with the CL 600s my name is Scott with Sean's photography and thank you for watching